Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today, I want to show you a ductless split heat pump system. What is a heat pump? Well, it's going to move heat from inside the building to outside or outside the building to inside to give us heat or air conditioning, depending on if it's winter or summer, of course. And um, what is a split system? That means we have a unit outside and we have units inside. And ductless, what does that mean? Well, there's no ducts. We just have a unit on the wall where we want to heat and cool, where the warm or cold air will be uh, made, if you will. And in this case, we have a three-head system. And we have one head to heat and cool that part of the building sticking out there. The bottom is not uh, air conditioned. And the second floor has two heads upstairs uh, to give us nice, cool space in the summer and warm in the winter. Let's take a look. Here's the location of the uh, one of the heads upstairs. The other one's over the door over there. And we can see we have our uh, line set to uh, for the refrigerant connection to the outside. Uh, and we have our uh, condensate pipe and we have a communication line so that uh, the equipment outside and inside can talk to each other. And then of course we're gonna have a thermostat uh, for each zone. And let's take a look at the unit outside. Okay, here's the unit outside. Now these units uh, that they've been manufacturing lately are really efficient. In fact, um, in air conditioning mode, they're rated at SEER, S-E-E-R, Seasonal Energy Efficiency uh, Rating. And this unit is an 18 SEER unit, which is very efficient. And they go uh, up just a little bit higher than this, 20, 21 SEER. Uh, would be really uh, incredibly efficient. And this uh, unit has three heads. So we're operating three heads with one outside unit. So if all three of them are running at the same time, then this is most efficient. If uh, this big outside unit is running and only one uh, inside head is calling for heater air conditioning, then it's going to be uh, less efficient. It's also dependent on the length of the line sets in between the outside unit and the inside unit. The shorter the line set, the more efficient it will operate. And in heating mode, they're rated at HSPF and a very incredibly high HSPF would be 11 or so. This unit here is at 9.5, so it's uh, very, very efficient compared to the units um, of uh, just five or 10 or 15 years ago, which were far less efficient. Of course, if you spend more, you can get a more efficient unit and your cost of converting electricity into warmer cold air would be lower over the long term. So what does this unit do? Well, it carries heat from inside to outside. So it will, in air conditioning mode, it will uh, take heat uh, by running uh, air uh, with a fan through the inside coils in those uh, interior heads, and it will heat up the refrigerant and uh, outside the refrigerant will give up its heat through this unit and so it'll operate like a typical central air conditioning system. But in heating mode, it will do the opposite. It will <clears throat> reverse itself and it'll take heat from outside, uh, transfer it into the refrigerant, pump it into the interior uh, units, and there the fan will uh, blow air through the coils, which will be uh, warm and create warm air uh, and pull that heat out of the refrigerant and then uh, back it comes. So we can take heat from outside to inside or inside to outside. Now you might be thinking, well, gee, you know, if it's 25 degrees out and you want to heat your house, how can you do that? You know, there's not much heat out, outside in this air when it's 25 degrees out. Well, that's true. There's not much, but there's enough. And these units are efficient enough to be able to extract uh, enough heat out of air down to zero degrees to be able to heat your house, believe it or not. So as long as the air is above absolute zero, which zero degrees Fahrenheit uh, is far above absolute zero, there is some heat in it that these units can extract. Now certainly um, if it's you know 10 degrees outside, it's gonna be less efficient at um, moving heat from outside to inside than it would be if it was 50 degrees, for example. Um, 
but that's why you want as efficient of a unit as you can get because you'll have to spend less money in electricity in BTUs that you're paying for for every unit of heat in BTUs that you're getting out of it. So uh, there's no combustion in this type of unit like with a furnace or a boiler. There you're not burning any fuels, you're simply using electricity to pump that refrigerant to move heat one way inside to outside or outside to inside uh, or the other. Okay, this building is obviously under construction. Here is the head that's gonna go in this room and this will be mounted up there on the wall and it will make cool air and warm air. Now the disadvantage to this type of system is that all the cool air and warm air for this uh, room is going to come from that one spot where if you had a ducted system you could put uh, heat registers uh, in you know three or four spaces in this room and have more even heat. Uh, but there is significant advantages in that you don't have to run ducts. Uh, ducts are big, they take up space in the building. And um, there's duct losses and so forth that we have associated with ducts. But um, let me show you what's in the wall uh, for this particular head. We have a line set. What is a line set? This takes refrigerant from the exterior unit to the interior unit. Uh, to transport the heat, whether we're bringing heat out of the building in air conditioning mode or bringing heat from outside the building to inside the building in heating mode, we do that by pumping refrigerant uh, in between the uh, indoor unit and the outdoor unit. We also have uh, a power and we have um, a, a condensate line, okay? Right here, this white pipe is going to take water that this unit will wring out of the air from the inside when it's in air conditioning mode because uh, it's cooling the air, it's squeezing the air, and it's squeezing it lower than its dew point. So we're getting water out of the air as all air conditioners do and we're going to drain it down through the wall and out to the exterior right here. And um, that's what's inside the wall behind each of the three heads that we have. Our building is almost done and these are the heat pump heads. In heating mode in the winter, warm air comes out, and in the summer, cool air comes out. Ductless heat pumps are about the most efficient way to get warm and cool air into your home and to fix some comfort problems that you may have. If you have a home that you'd like to make more comfortable or energy efficient, like to lower your fuel and electricity costs, call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you.